we come into this world unknown. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Curtis Zone. I, of course, am your humble and handsome host, Dylan J. Curtis, and I thank you so much for, for joining us. I also thank you for hitting that like and subscribe button for more content and for to see more of me and, of course, my bouncing packs. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you just want to make a request for any episode period, leave it in the comment section down below. Today is another How Powerful Would Someone Be episode. We have asked ourselves, how powerful would Bloodshot be if he had Cyborg's weapons, Shockwave's intellect, and Richard Dragon's skills? I know it's not right to do a How Powerful Would Someone Be episode so soon, but I thought it'd be fun because I really enjoyed this character. And for those of you who don't know, he is a comic book character, a comic book character of the Valiant Universe which includes characters such as Shadow Man, Ninjack, Exo Man of War, and a whole lot more. Now we cannot give you any episode period without giving you a little bit of news. And here's some news from the world of the upcoming Barbie movie. It turns out that they spent a whole lot of money, 85% of the budget in fact, on pink paint for the Barbie movie, which means they wanted it to be, they wanted it to be more lifelike, more like you're playing with Barbie dolls. So be on the lookout for that. Some news from the world of Warner Brothers is the fact that Mortal Kombat 2 has started filming and producers and director Simon McQuid have promised that they will fill in blanks from the first movie and they have promised that they will not leave anything out, especially not the tournament. So be on the lookout for the upcoming trailer. The final piece of news is from the world of DC. They have found their new Batman. No. They're not announcing it yet, but they have found their new Batman. Personally, I wanna see who it is just so I can make fun of him. I hope it's not Robert Pattinson. Now, let's get into this How Powerful Will Someone Be episode. And remember, hit the like and subscribe button. Quick little origin on Bloodshot. His name is Ray, and he was once a soldier in the U.S. government before he moved to a private military company called Project Rising Spirit. Project Rising Spirit experimented on him as well as others, creating superpower beings, some of them being Exo Man of War and Ninjak. They put nanites in Bloodshot's body, giving him the ability to regenerate from anything and communicate with machines. Some of his powers include the ability to communicate with machines, regeneration, he can regenerate severed limbs like Deadpool, but he's also proficient with all weapons associated with being a military. He can regenerate limbs just like anyone. He's also a skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant, and he's also skilled with explosives, chemical engineering, a whole lot of other stuff. Bloodshot is one of the most powerful nanotech users in all of comic books. This has landed him on a very short list of the most dangerous characters in comic books. Also, Bloodshot has the ability to connect with machines just like Cyborg. However, he has to be within a 10 foot radius to be able to do so. He also has all the normal abilities of a regular superhero like superhuman strength, speed, agility, and stamina. Bloodshot can take a lot and he can also breathe without oxygen. Because of the nanites in his blood, he can breathe without oxygen. So yeah, Bloodshot is a very, very deadly enemy. Cyborg is no pushover. Some of his weapons include his white noise cannon, or otherwise known as his sonic cannon. He has the ability to create missiles from nothing. He is basically a robot with a whole bunch of weapons. Cyborg can also connect to any machinery anywhere and any computer system around the world, which is a very useful feature. He, in, in the recent New 52s, Cyborg also has the ability of a hypersonic blaster, which is two, both his arms connected to create a new weapon. He also has the ability to access boom tubes through his own body, an interesting trade if you ask me. So yeah, Cyborg is a very, very powerful person. For those of you who don't know, 
Shockwave made it to my top 10 on the smartest characters in animated television. This is due to the fact that, and listen to this part very carefully, he created the Dinobots. He also created the Cortical Psychic Patch and Space Bridge Technology. He is known as one of Megatron's most smartest engineers ever and one of the best engineers on Cybertron. So yes, imagine Bloodshot having his intellect and put that and just, yeah, think about that for a second. Richard Dragon was a former thief who trained in martial arts under the eye of the O-Sensei. He trained longer than anyone who's ever trained under the O-Sensei's eye has ever trained before. So long, in fact, that his martial arts skills are fierce. So fierce, in fact, that he trained Lady Shiva. Yeah, let that sink in for a second. Richard Dragon is so skilled, in fact, it's considered to be an honor to fight him. So imagine his skills in Rick in the hands of Bloodshot. Yeah, think about that for a second. And just like that, another episode of The Curtis Sun comes to a screeching close. Now, remember, if you don't know how these How Powerful Would Some of the Episodes work, I just gave you the stats of the act of the character, and I give you the stats of the, of the powers that they're gonna use, the powers, the intellect, and the skills that they're gonna use. Now you, it's your turn, the viewer, Leave it in the comment section down below how powerful you think the character will be. All right? And as always, if you want to see more of me and of my bouncing packs, just leave it in the comment section down below what kind of episode you want to see and hit the like and subscribe button. Because the more you do, the more I get. I just, I can't wait.